Yeah. So Lolita, thank you for coming. And could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey, I'm happy to be here. I am the content strategist at Praxis. Um, what we do at Praxis is we offer apprenticeships for young people who are just breaking into the career world. Um, they apprentice at startups and they learn so many awesome skills um, that you can't get anywhere else, that you can't get in college, you can't get unless you get experience in. So it's awesome to work with a company like that. Um, I'm in charge of getting content out both internally, both externally. Um, so it's a blast like working with young people, working with a lot of great thinkers. Um, I love my job. Fantastic. And do you have anywhere you're gonna, you wanna go in the future or just staying in the moment for now? Staying in the moment for now, for sure. There are so many ways that you can grow within a company. Um, and I'm very happy with the role that I have. I'm very happy with the amount of um, fun opportunities and fun projects that I'm able to work on here and on the side. Um, the only place that I would probably expand my career, like looking forward, is I would really like to be able to master the skill of traveling while working. Um, right now, that's not something I've been working on, but at some point, I would like to be able to do that maybe within the next two years or so. Cool stuff. That's a good goal. All right. So what's one thing that you do every day to make yourself more valuable? So you mentioned this and we talked about it a little bit beforehand um, in, the e in our email communication. You mentioned it as, as daily habits and I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm not really a routine oriented person. I have, you know, routines that I do maybe for three months, six months, but they do change often. And I'm very quick to admit that. And I'm like, it works for me as a person. It doesn't work for everybody. So what I focus on doing daily is more of a mindset shift. So my daily habit tends to be find one thing, one new idea to interact with that's in some way or another. It doesn't have to be entirely new, but that could be one article, one video, one idea from a coworker or a friend. Um, and just think about it for a while. Maybe just take 10 minutes to think about it, ponder through it. Um, that, that's been so good for me. And when you have that kind of focus, like I'm going to pick one. I don't have to do a whole bunch. I don't have to be the content consumption guru. I don't have to do it all the time. Just pick one thing and do that. On the flip side of that, I pick one person to instill a new idea into. So I'll, I'll tell someone about either that idea that I learned or an idea that has interested me recently. Um, so you kind of, by balancing out that content um, consumption with being able to um, impress someone else with this new idea that I have, I, it, it just adds a lot to my life. It adds um, something fun to look forward to every day. And it makes you think past just, okay, it's just gonna be a whole new day. It makes you think, wow, there's always so many new ideas out there and there are so many other people to help out with those new ideas. That's fantastic. Well, you've definitely taught me one new thing today. Uh, <laughs> do you do both of those things every day, if you can? If I can, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of it by now, it's pretty much subconscious. Once you think about it, the thing about instilling a mindset as a habit is that it becomes such a part of you that you almost can't separate yourself from it. So it's by now, it's more than once a day. Like I might, you know, I might interact specifically with five new ideas. Um, I'll focus on the one still, but I, and I might send over some new ideas to another person um, a lot more than just one. Um, something that you can take that's, it's not a daily thing for me yet, but something, creative projects are one of the best ways to expand on the ideas that your own mind is working through, that your own mind is doing. So I also like to focus on completing one creative project every week. That's been a very recent goal, very related to these, but um, I'll let you, I'll catch you up later on how that one works out. But it's another very similar kind of habit slash mindset that really, really impacts the way you see the world. That's really cool. So you're saying by now, uh, how long have you been instilling this mindset in yourself? I would say this one's been about six months. Okay. A, so, yeah, a very solid six months. Um, I started whenever I started being in charge of the philosophy module here at Praxis. And all we do in module four um, is content consumption. 
everyone that goes through this module of praxis, they go through, they interact with lots of big ideas. It's basically like a gym for your mind. Um, we want everyone to realize the fact that if you, the more you interact with big ideas, the better you're going to become as a person, as a person selling yourself, as a person in the professional world in general. Um, and I thought, you know, if I'm going to be leading this module, if I'm going to be working with everyone, I need to get really good at this. I need to be able to, on the flip of a dime, have a piece of content to give someone. I need to be able to immediately think of a book recommendation whenever somebody says a new idea. I need to be able to really be able to be really good at piecing ideas together. And I knew that if I didn't do something every day to put that into action, there'd be no way that I would be able to accomplish that goal. So it did start out kind of as a means to an end, I guess. There you go. So I know that it's a mindset, something that you've pretty much integrated into who you are, which makes it easy to keep going. What's the biggest change that you've seen in your life since you started incorporating this mindset? The very thing, the very goal that I was trying to work on, to be honest, the fact that at this point, six months in, when someone says, oh yeah, I saw this podcast the other day and there was this idea, I can say, wow, yeah, I read an article about that a while back. Let me send you the link to that. You're creating value for that other person and you're also becoming so rich in knowledge and in information. And when you start seeing the puzzle pieces of information just come together really fast in your own life, it's so, so rewarding. You know when you're putting a puzzle together and you, you take care of the outside pieces maybe and then you've got all of these big pieces that go inside. You have the basic framework, and that's where a lot of young people are. You know, they've got the basic framework. They kind of know, ah, here's what I want my life to look like maybe in a year, maybe in two years. But they've got all of these big puzzle pieces that they would like to fit in, but have no way to start. And you just start putting the puzzle pieces together. And as more and more come together, the faster and faster the puzzle um, comes together. And that's, that's what you find with information as well. The more pieces of information you can connect, the faster that puzzle piece, um, the faster the entire puzzle comes together um, in the information that you have in your brain. That's fascinating. I love the, pod, uh, the puzzle analogy. I almost said podcast. Puzzle analogy. That's really cool. So thank you for coming on. If there's anywhere that people want to find out more about what you're doing, where can they, where can they reach you? So I write a lot for the Praxis blog. That's discoverpraxis.com slash blog. A lot of the content there um, I take care of. Um, I produce the Office Hours podcast. You can search Office Hours podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, so I'm very, I, that's one of the things that I spend a lot of my time doing. It's not directly related to me, but it is something that I spend a lot of my time in. So, um, and it impacts the way that I think because I spend so much time with the people that are the show, the host of the podcast. And as well as I do have a personal website, lolitaallgayer.com. That's L-O-L-I-T-A-A-L-L-G-Y-E-R.com. Um, and if they want to reach me directly, they can come to lolita at discoverpraxis.com. Great. Thank you so much, Lolita. Yeah, anytime. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome.